So next we stick with the welterweights. In the red corner, we've got Peter Robson. So Robson is wearing the black Hayabusa shorts. This is going to get confusing. They're both topless. They're both wearing black shorts. So Robs Robson has the white strip on his shin guards. In the red corner, his opponent, Nicholas Fabry. Fabry has the red strips on his shin guards. Fabry from Total Martial Arts. Robson from Exeter MMA. Both coming in bang on weight. 75.7, 76.9 is under the 77 cutoff. So Robson in for a massive slam. Drops Fabry straight on the canvas and takes a very strong side control. So Robson inside control on top. Fabry really doing a very good job at trying to get out of there. We see his hips moving, trying to hit, shrimp his legs in. Robson straight into mount, looked for a rear choke there, but Fabry spun straight back onto his back. No, thank you very much. You are not having that rear choke on me today. So Robson again on mount. Now he's going to look at trying to isolate an arm. Big shots from Robson. Very, very good reach. Big, powerful shots raining down. Armbar attempt for Robson. And there, there's the tap. There's the tap from Fabry. He, he did definitely tap, but he did look like it was premature. He was thinking about escaping. That was a, that was, that was a tap. So that is going to be a win awarded to Robson for an armbar, very slickly executed. Maximum points, Peter Robson, extra MMA. Okay, so next, this is a catch weight at middleweight, so uh, both um, opponents coming in at 81 kilos, pretty much. Matt Storer from John Skin and Academy, weighing at 80.8. Bruce Fitzsimmons from M1 Junction 14, coming in at 81 kilos. Storer is in the white shorts, Fitzsimmons in the black shorts. So we're off one five minute round amateur competition. So big knees from Fitzsimmons. So Stora on his back. He's got the knees in, very good control points. We can see Fitzsimmons trying to work through and isolate the arm. So Stora. Protecting the right arm. The right arm is being peeled off by Fitzsimmons for an Americana or armbar attempt. So Fitzsimmons on top. He's in a half guard position. Stora is going to be working to work from the half guard position. There we see Fitzsimmons working into full mount. Nice turn attempt from Stora. So Matt Stora, very, very high mount position. So we can see Stora now still on his back. Fitzsimmons is on top in the mount position. Stora looking to turn. Beautiful turn now. So he's in the top position. Fitzsimmons is now going to see whether Fitzsimmons can work the guard position. Stora needs to posture up here and break this guard position as quick as possible. Really needs to posture up, break the guard position. Fitzsimmons needs to look at either a, a turn to get back into mount or to work high and go for a submission. Let's go, Matt. Keep working, Matt. Elbow in close. Elbow in close. 
So Stora still in the guard position. Fitzsimmons has got an open guard. There we see Stora looking to try and scoop and pass to the side. And he does. He's nearly through. And he does. Brilliant. Beautiful stuff. Now, are we going to see Stora looking to take the rear naked choke position? Beautiful roll there from Fitzsimmons into side control. So Fitzsimmons takes side control. Stora's got one arm down loose. He could... So Stora going to have a brief moment to recompose himself. Fitzsimmons is looking to lock that on. Lock into a tight side control. Less than one minute left now. So Stora on his back, Fitzsimmons still in the mount control position. We're up against the cage wall. There we go, Stora looking to spin out, offer his back up as a last ditch effort. It's effective, does work sometimes, can be dangerous. There we can hear a little bit of uh, what I like to refer to as Matt Mist. And there we see him. Stora's got to come out the back door if he's going to do this. It's a risky escape. He's got to come out the back door if he's going to go for that escape. A dying few seconds. Stora takes the top control position. Fitzsimmons rides high. It's not enough. Both going to go home with a point. That's going to go to a draw. But what an impressive display of heart from both Matt Stora and Bruce Fitzsimmons both should be very proud of that tonight, guys. Okay, so next up, middleweight action. Oscar Brown in the red corner. Brown is wearing the red shin guards, khaki shorts, his opponent for this evening, this afternoon even, this evening. Chris Reasley, Reasley from Exeter MMA, a big showing here today. Quite a new gym to the MMA league, making quite an impact so far. So Reasley in the flamed black and white shorts with the black rash guard. Oscar Brown from Black Dog MMA. Middleweight action, one five minute round, and we're off to a flying shot. Big hooks to the body from Brown. Very carefully lowers Reasley to the mat. That's very kind of you, Oscar. Reasley with an open half guard. And we're going to see Oscar Brown looking to set up an armbar attempt nice and early. We can see that by the way that his foot's hooked around behind the back of Reasley's back. He's given up on that attempt. He's still thinking about it. He's, he's toying with it. You can see his hips coming around to the side. Shortens off the angle of the armbar, means that it's quicker and it's more fluid. So Brown in mount position. It's a good position to be in in the opening minute of your round. Now we see Brown's going to turn to armbar to the left. I think he's forgotten that he's got the cage wall to his left. He's not going to be able to finish effectively. He's going to have to move and fluidly adjust that armbar as we go. Now personally, I would go for the rear choke from here. And I think Oscar Brown, for a brief moment, was thinking the same. 
seated triangle attempt possibly now. We've seen Black Dog MMA present at the league again since the early days. They make a very, very long trip over to take part every time. Small number of fighters, but the number of fighters they put on, always high quality. As Oscar Brown postures up, fires some shots down, and they're landing in Chris Reasley's uh, solar plexus. There's the rear choke attempt, very uncomfortable. Ankles off the ground, hooks are in very, very deep. Ankle hooks buried deep into Reasley's hips. Brown is given up on the rear choke. Not, not quite where he wanted it, so there's no point wasting energy on it. So, seated triangle, there we go. I thought I saw it earlier. I thought I saw a seated triangle. I did, I did see a seated triangle. No. Oscar Brown again, giving up on that. And this is the sign of someone that knows a lot of tricks in the book. If there is, and is very experienced, if there is, if, the, if it's not going to work, there's no point wasting your energy on it. And this is what unsettles a lot of amateurs. So it's great to see this level of coordination at amateur rule. There it is, look how fluid that was. So Oscar Brown again, working the rear choke, needs to flatten out Reasley. And he does, he's controlling the hips. But Reasley turning his head in, very good defense to the rear naked choke, making it very difficult for Oscar Brown to finish. And we can see straightening the leg out behind you is a fantastic way of defending it. Brown turns Reasley onto his back into the corner. So now Oscar Brown again is the fourth attempt at a rear naked choke here. Needs to, exactly as his corner revising, needs to flatten out Chris Reasley to finish this choke position. My personal opinion is the weight's a little bit too far forward. Need to come back a little bit, Oscar. There we go. The weight comes back. Now he can kick out Reasley's hips. So Oscar doesn't flatten him out, he turns him instead. Oscar Brown still in rear control. We are in the last minute. We've got 42 seconds left on the clock. So sinking that rear choke in, but it's not going anywhere. Reasley defending very, very well. Needs to progress though to get the dominant position and take a points win. Dying 10 seconds. This is it. This is the last attempt from Oscar Brown. This is the last chance he's got of getting three points today on this bout. Reasley pops his head out. Surely that's it. We go to a draw. The crowd are literally disappointed that that did not go on a little bit longer. Oscar Brown, Black Dog MMA, Chris Reasley, Exeter MMA ends in a draw.